Hey everyone, James Niggemeyer here. Thank you for tuning back into my YouTube channel. Today I want to share a quick tip on rod handle revitalization. You might even consider it a bit of an upgrade on some of your older rods that uh, you know, you've used a lot, they've got a lot of mileage out of it, and maybe your handle starts to get a little slick. You want that grip that it once had when you first bought it. You can do a lot of different things, but I want to share with you something that's worked for me Hopefully you guys will find some value in it. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and feel free to share it with whoever you'd like that you feel like might find some value in the video. With that, let's get right into it. So I've got a lot of different rods, some with cork handles, some with wind grips, all different types of rods. They're all loose rods and this one particularly has kind of an EVA foam and it's started to get a little slick from all the use over the years and one of the things that I've found on the market not a sponsor of mine is this item here it's a AccuCole grip saver that's what it's called and this is the fish scale type pattern I've got another one that's kind of a diamond plate or these little rubberized coatings across it that gives it that diamond plate look like that. And what I've done is cut it to shape based on my handle size. Just like this rod here, I've just cut it to the length that I want it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to the rod. It's a pretty easy process, doesn't take a lot of time. Probably the thing that takes the most time is just uh, uh, cutting it to shape or cutting it to fit. I actually like it to overlap the reel seat just a little bit, kind of right at the butt of the uh, trigger there or the base of the trigger and just kind of find a spot where it goes, kind of like that. And then what you have to do is either you can take a lighter like this and apply heat to it like that, or you can use a heat gun and just for the sake of this video, being quick and everything, I'm just gonna use this lighter because it's I've used it in the past and it's worked out well. But you can see kind of what I'm doing here. I've kind of just put it at the base of the trigger and I've got the little piece of cork here showing out the back. And um, here you go. We're gonna just apply some heat to it. And um, whoops, kind of apply some heat to it here. And I'm, I'm just gonna, kind of wave it around. I don't want it to get to stay in one spot too long. Just back and forth, it'll heat up nice. And what you have to do is basically apply it to the whole thing, the whole length, because basically the whole thing that needs to shrink down. And of course, I'm not wanting the handle to get hot or anything like that as much as possible. I don't want to soften any of the glues in there, kind of higher, raise that up a little bit more so you can see it and just applying that heat nice and evenly all the way down and it'll take form to the uh the rod handle itself and i think we're getting really close to being done sorry i've dropped that down below the camera angle there that's it and I mean, it's a pretty quick and easy process. Now, I'm not gonna touch that because it's pretty hot, actually. Yeah, it's pretty hot. But um, I think I can apply a little bit more heat right at the very top right here. But it's pretty much ready to go. Hit that with a little bit of lighter there. Doesn't require any glue. Just cut to length, however you wanna do it, and it's ready to go. What I've liked about this, what I feel like it does for me is it gives me a grip. Yeah, that's nice and hot. But it gives me, it kind of re-establishes that grip that I had on that Ava foam or EVA foam when I first got the rod. And you could rough it up. You could do some things, probably clean it. But I, I found this thing on the market, found this item on the market, bought it. And I just really like it. It's quick, easy, simple, and it restores that tackiness that I like. This is my swim jig rod, so I want to uh, maintain, you know, I'm doing a lot of cast with it and working that rod a bunch, you know, shaking that rod tip as I reel that swim jig through the water. And I like it for more of my moving type baits, whether it's uh, square bill crankbaits, 
top waters, my bladed jigs, my striking thunder crickets, different things like that. And it, it works really well. That's it for now, guys. Just a quick tip on revitalizing your rod handle. Maybe you might just describe it as an upgrade to an older rod that you've had for a while. You've got a lot of mileage out of it. You really like it. You've caught a lot of fish on it. And you want to make sure that uh, it doesn't slip out of your hand when you're casting it or working the, the bait particularly. Just a quick tip for today. Thanks for watching and good fishing.